The findings of the workplace review are still secret, but the governor general's resignation quite public. This report had some uh, disturbing conclusions, uh, and those conversations led the governor, governor general to, uh, to conclude that she should offer her resignation. An unprecedented move in Canadian history. After months of revelations about the toxic workplace at Rideau Hall, Julie Payette issued a statement saying, I still take these allegations very seriously. We all experience things differently, but we should always strive to do better and be attentive to one another's perceptions. I've come to the conclusion that a new governor general should be appointed. Canadians deserve stability in these uncertain times. The government received the report last week, and after a thorough review, the Prime Minister spoke to Payette yesterday when she offered to resign. The conclusions of the report uh, were such that the workplace was clearly a source of concern, and in fact, the clerk of the Privy Council and Privy Council officials will, in the coming weeks, be reaching out directly to staff at Rideau Hall and working with them. The Prime Minister said today's announcement provides an opportunity for new leadership at Rideau Hall to address the workplace concerns. The Chief Justice of Canada, Richard Wagner, will step in until they find a replacement. All of this set in motion by a CBC report exactly six months ago that triggered the review. There was a lot of crying. I saw colleagues cry. More than a dozen sources spoke confidentially, claiming that Payette belittled, berated and publicly humiliated employees. They described lengthy debriefs during flights that reduced staff to tears, meetings that felt like interrogations, and employees being randomly quizzed, asked to name planets in the solar system. There was always that level of criticism, and I would say in almost every meeting, someone was berated. There was, I'll go as far to say, a victim at every meeting. Sources also accuse her longtime friend and official secretary, Assunta de Lorenzo, of bullying staff too. Waves of employees left. This has gone from being one of the most collegial and enjoyable work environments for many of the staff to being a house of horrors. They will bully you until you either agree or leave. Picked by the Prime Minister but appointed by the Queen, tonight Buckingham Palace said the Queen is aware of today's developments. Okay, so Ashley, such a big development, due in large part to your reporting and your dozens of sources. What are they saying tonight? Well, there's a sense of relief. Some told me that they cried when they heard the news. After having had the courage to speak to us about their concerns, they got the outcome they wanted but never imagined they'd get. And, and do we know if the contents of this report will ever be made public? Well, the government says it contains confidential information and will only be released under the Access to Information Act. Now, that can take months, and the document would likely be heavily redacted, but we have requested a copy. Okay, Ashley Burke, thank you very much. Thank you.